17, we are set for football. And we are underway from Indianapolis. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A three-yard pickup. Play action. It's Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. This is Carson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back up. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf. Touchdown. DK Metcalf. There to make the grab. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Jason zoom, Meyer zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. Michael Dixon, the kickoff for Seattle. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Rodgers on the return. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So now the Colts will get their first opportunity with a football. And they'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. Not only does he look the part, he plays it as well. Tall, prototypical looking pocket passer with better athletic ability than what people think. Gets outside of the pocket and makes big plays downfield. Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. yard line. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball. And the pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. And that was Carlos Dunlap who got in to take him down. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. And he fields it cleanly. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Seahawks seven, Colts nothing. 
Come into the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they... Fought, and all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Chris Carson, 64 yards. And the Seahawks get the quick strike touchdown. The CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs. And that one certainly fell into the latter category. Now that deserves a couple exclamation points. And that's why he's one of the best running backs in the game today, because this run combined all the elements. Started with patience, and he was just waiting for the right lane to materialize. Then once he saw it, he used his speed and escapability in tandem and turned this into a tremendous play. And it's good to make it 14-0. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From the 10. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. 32-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 15 yards on the play. First down. Two minutes to play. First half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Now this is Hilton on the receiving end. Seven yards, the pick up there. Now the Colts moving quickly here in the hurry-up offense. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Wentz going to try and throw on third. And he fires one that's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. The 20. There it is. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. And it is now 21 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken just shy of the 10. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. At their own 32-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And following the pick six, and they had decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. They'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now Wentz on third down. 
And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Chris Carson trotting back out there. And he's made it easy for us to put together a highlight package. Just wondering what he ate before this one started. <laughs> Let's include that in the package, right? Get the gourmet out here, figure it all out. And you guaranteed he'll do that going forward as well because with a game like this, you don't want to change things too much. Oh, yeah, you also want to continue to get that great blocking he's received today, too. Yeah. Kudos to the guys up front indeed. On first down, Wilson dancing to his left. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Being chased out left. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. How about a 39-yard pickup? They'll take it. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they'd take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase. That's caught inside the 20. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked. And there's another example right there. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Forced out to his left. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. And the end result of that play, you're almost not sure what you really want because when he gets outside of the pocket, you actually hold your breath because you think he's going to run for big yardage. But when he chose to pull it down and throw it, and a play was made to knock it away, that's a pretty good end result. Not one you expected when the play began. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. At their own 28-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now wins. Looking left sideline incomplete. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. The Colts getting the football first, and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. This is taken just shy of the 10. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. They're on 32-yard line. 
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Third and ten. Shotgun now for Wentz. Now he's going to go deep down the left side. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big gain of 39 on third. From the gun, it's Taylor. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. He was trying to dance in around the sideline, but fell just a couple of yards short. Still, he's got him in great position. He certainly does. They did a nice job keeping him from getting into the end zone. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Carson wins. Scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Colts are able to draw a bit closer. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in? Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback. <laughs> it takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. Fielded just outside the goal line. Running room at the 50. Look out. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. From the shotgun, Wilson, and he's got it. They add on more, a little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. Well, this is something that Pete Carroll should be pretty well familiar with. Remember when he told Jim Harbaugh after losing a ball game and Harbaugh went for two late against him, hey, what's your deal? It's the same situation here. Now, I'd kick the extra point, but I am reminded that plenty of coaches feel like it's not their job to worry about the other team. It's their job to worry about their own team. You have to stop us. Pulls it in at the 13. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. They're on 29-yard line. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you got over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. It'll be a gain of five on the play, and it'll also be the final play of this third quarter. That's the end. Of Back the now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Colts on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. Working from the gun, Wentz. 
And that is incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. Try to punch it in with Taylor. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. He needed two. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work. Change of running plays, keep the clock moving, keep them moving. I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. Second and six with the ball on the seven. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. Extra point up and through by Myers, and that will extend this big lead. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. They're on 33-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. This is taken at the 10. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. As Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Brendan, every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, 
You're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission. Uh, I think you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Rolling to his left. He'll try and run it. And some room to maneuver. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right. His first carry of the game, I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. He'll find Everett there, complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That's good for 28 yards. Offensively, another big chunk of yardage, Charles, but defensively, they had all this talk about trying to limit explosive plays. They have not been able to do that. They just Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But I believe a Seahawk was able to get a handle on this, so this will remain Seattle ball. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Touchdown, Seattle. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. Jason That's the coaching. Myers. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Oh, seven. Michael Dixon, the kickoff for Seattle. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From the 10. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. At their own 27-yard line. And the Colts getting ready to go. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember. And the Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. Alden Smith, the former number seven pick, gets the sack. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.